Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are we getting on? Welcome to a brand new Fallout news video. So today, first up, we have some information regarding the upcoming Fallout TV show. And following that, we're going to take a look at some of the highlights from the current Season 14 scoreboard. So let's jump in. Okay, so yeah, first up, Gamescom is rolling on this weekend, and we're getting little tidbits coming out regarding Starfield, and uh, some stuff that we can see, that can be seen there, I should say. They're keeping it off the internet, so uh, as I'm not there, unfortunately, I can't dive into that. But we have had a little bit of information coming out, in this case via IGN, regarding the upcoming Fallout TV show. So, we've not heard a huge amount in a while. We know quite a while back now, actually, filming Rat on the Fallout TV show. Um, that was earlier this year. We've seen a few on-set pictures leaking in various places online that I'm not going to share for now. But we do have a little bit of information coming out of Gamescom here. And that is that Bethesda have shared a little teaser at their booth regarding uh, the upcoming TV show. So it's very, very light touch and they are keeping it off the internet. So we can't unfortunately see that teaser unless you are actually there. If you happen to be there, see if you can get a, a gander. But uh, for now, we can't. However... IGN have very kindly covered a little bit of information. So what we know is that there is a short trailer that gives us glimpses of the Brotherhood of Steel and uh, a somewhat urban desert, apparently, which we'll have to see exactly what that means, along with a number of iconic bits and pieces from the Fallout universe being in the show as well. So we've got uh, vertebrates, we've got a vault door opening and nuclear explosions, presumably setting the scene. Rumour has it we might be seeing a little bit of a ghoul character who the only one we know about so far is the one played by Walter Goggins who is uh, playing a significant ghoul character in the series so apparently he looks quite a lot like uh, Hancock from Fallout 4 which is not terribly surprising seeing as most male ghouls look a lot like Hancock so <laughs> that kind of tracks you know but uh, from what uh, Todd Howard has said this is just the very very early teaser and there will be much bigger stuff coming on down the line so link to this article if you want to see a bit more of it and uh, get a full gander but uh, let's dive on in to the other thing we want to have a look at which is season 14's rewards because uh, at long last they are up on the website there's some really cool stuff in here so yeah season 14 rewards of all of the things that are in this update that was released yesterday the thing that i am most happy about by a country mile is looking at this season 14 scoreboard there's some really cool stuff to be gotten out of this one although we don't have an end date by the way for this yet provisionally my guess and it's an educated guess but still a guess nonetheless is that it will probably end early december so i suspect we've got a nice long run on this partly because we're starting early um, and partly because obviously starfield's going to distract a lot of people and a lot of people are probably going to need some more time to get through this which is entirely fair so let's have a look at the cool stuff and we'll ignore the stuff that's not particularly exciting so at rank three we get a first look here at the alaskan winter leather armor paint so we've got a kind of beigey white kind of color to the main armor paint here that are actually quite nice this picture really doesn't do it justice based on what i saw in what well, little admittedly i saw in game last night but that does look quite cool sometimes these armor paints can be a bit hit or miss that one looks quite nice i think we've got a presidential red white and blue themed paint for the light machine gun a fun gun that doesn't get used a huge amount that one uh, largely because it absolutely devours ammunition but uh they're worth trying it out with this paint if you've got a decent one knocking around because they are kind of fun if you can keep yourself uh, stocked with ammo. So for Fallout First players at rank 6, we've got a Beware of the Death Claw sign. I love this and I can't wait to make use of this. This is going up in a lot of my camps. A lot of fun, that one. <laughs> Just paint over the dog bit and right Death Claw. That is uh, spot on. Some army posters at rank 7 are really, really cool because these have been kicking around at the game world. Well, they were kicking around in Fallout 4, they're kicking around in 76. They're all over the place. And, uh, you know, as far as making your camp feel like it's part of that world, having posters that reflect that up in on the walls and stuff is a, a really cool addition. So I think that's going to be quite nice. The presidential paint for the power armor is quite interesting as well. I haven't really had a close look at this, um, but black with little bits of detailing on it is actually cooler than I was expecting. My guess, just purely off the name of it, was going to be red, white and blue. But the fact that this has gone for a kind of black... Um, stylish look is really quite nice. It's a bit understated, but it's also quite cool. And there's little hints of highlights around the edge that I like the look of on this. So at rank nine, we've got um, a Fight for Freedom Revolution painting. So a wall painting from that kind of has a scene from uh, the revolution. So that's quite cool. 
I think we're going to get a few of these, so uh, decent amount of camp stuff in here. And of course, as usual, icon score boosters and other bits and pieces going on. So we've got a birthday banner, <laughs> rank 12. Odd, but fun. Um, the metal armor paint looks quite nice there. Carrying on that same uh, Alaskan winter vibe. It's kind of beige meets winter. It's not really that winterized, I don't feel. But it is a, a unique, different kind of look to it that I quite like. And uh, something about this color scheme kind of works for me. Normally, I'm not that into beige. This time, I think it's working. Grafton Monster Poster. That is sort of continuing the Beasts of Burden wall decoration items line. So nice to have. That will be quite nice in camps. Over here at 17, we've got a carved eagle weapon rack. So I'm guessing this is a wood carving that's been painted and it will hold a weapon of some kind from the look of it in its talons, which is... I, I really don't know how I feel about that. That's an interesting thing. I'm not sure if it's my cup of tea, but it's quite cool nonetheless. I'm curious about the um, the scale, the size of it, and um, how it's going to look where it's actually holding on to weapons. That could be very cool, or it could be a bit weird, depending on how well they've pulled it off. The excavator paint, power on paint, looks quite cool. A little bit of red detailing, but otherwise it's that kind of dusty matte black with uh, little bits of gold detailing as well. Looking all right. Uh, at rank 19, if you've got Fallout first, we have an ammo storage box paint which is an enclave themed one um we've now that'll be our third um scheme color scheme for it skin for it uh, including the base one so makes sense to have this as a fallout first reward as it's a fallout first item but yeah um again relatively matte relatively uh, understated that's quite nice i actually quite like that look perhaps more than some of the others we've got Another firework launcher. We had one of those in the last scoreboard at uh, rank 22. I haven't used that last one, and um, we'll see whether or not I use this one. It's uh, red, white, and blue, so about what you'd expect. And the robot arm paint, again, keeping that going. It's kind of more dark, which is in keeping with the robot armor's look. These are kind of fun. We've got uh, a ground military vehicle set, so basically I'm thinking these are probably kids' toys kind of size, but you can place them around on... Uh, floors on tabletop stuff like that for little military vehicle displays extra camp clutter like this for me is always welcome um they've added obviously there's the plushies that we've had bit coming in for quite a while there's been a few extra bits and pieces like this recently that go quite nicely in there like the blue ridge truck and stuff like that these are kind of fun too and there's more bits related to this in a moment interesting a fallout first reward at rank 26 is a tricycle i'm guessing this is an entirely placeable item which is Bit random if you want to look like your house used to be a family home and um, possibly an abandoned one that's quite cool although that does look maybe a little too clean for abandoned but still cool that's a, a bit of a random thing for scattering around for decoration quite like that oh the t51's looking pretty slick with this new paint i've got to say that looks nice that i like um i'm iffy about the t51 because of the roundedness of it. it's a bit it's not entirely my style but this kind of, the, the highlights and the bits that picked out and the detail on it were really, really nice, so that's cool. And jumping over at rank 30 on Fallout first again, we have the air military vehicle set, which is, again, much like the ground military one, but funnily enough, air ones. I imagine these will also be placed them on the floor or on a table or something type items, rather than having them actually um, float in the air like they're attached to the ceiling. Well, that is theoretically doable. If they can do it with lights, they can do it with something like this. So... Who knows, but I'm guessing it's probably floor-based. Marine armor paint at uh, 33. Uh, it kind of works. Not a big fan of the marine paint. Marine armor in general. The look of it just doesn't really do it for me, but... Uh, okay. 34, we've got the next painting, which is the fight for freedom, storming the beach. I'm guessing this is supposed to be somewhere around about the Second World War reference. I don't think I've missed any other paintings there, but uh, that's quite nice. I do quite like the look of that. Um... It'd be good to have a, a range of paintings in a similar style because when you're decorating particularly homes and houses that style of camp a certain amount of consistency looks better in the decor yep definitely haven't missed anything so there we go um rank 35 is where we're getting our new ally and that's grandma junko who will uh, provide you with some food don't know what she is like beyond that but uh, other than uh, apparently not entirely all there going to be an interesting character but uh, yeah sometimes we were getting these allies at uh, around about rank 50 they seem to have pulled them forward a little bit in the scoreboard which is quite nice it makes them a bit more easily available i'm looking forward to seeing what the ally station looks like on that one and we get the presidential paint for the 50 cal machine gun that's pretty cool kind of yeah, red white blue across the top with the otherwise matte black kind of enclave look that's quite smart i think on the 50 cal um 50 cal's lacking in nice paints i think it's got a radiary gold one that's iffy um and if you put the heavy barrel on it then the coolest part of that paint job disappears so uh, 
This should be quite nice, I think. That's probably a nice uh, addition to the 50 cal range, and it's a semi-popular weapon as well, the 50 cal, so that's a good shout. Um, the T60 power armor paint, the presidential one here at 38, is looking pretty nice. This is not the best picture, I don't think, because of the shadow down the right-hand side here. But looking at the details so far, that might be enough to make me break my T60 back out of the, uh, the stash box. I do like the look of the T60 power armor. It is definitely the best looking one. So, uh, yeah, with that nice kind of slick black paint job on it, hmm, I don't know. I quite like that. Um, we've got a camera skin over here at rank 40 for Fallout First members. That's fine if you want uh, the old red, white, and blue on that, but uh, not particularly exciting. Combat armor paint in the Alaskan winter kind of... This is looking more traditional camouflage here for the combat armor paint. That's quite nice. I like the look of that. Um, yeah, it's a good slick look, that. If you wanted to run around and actually have your combat armor on the outside of your um, outfit rather than covering it in clothes or anything, that's uh, probably quite a fun choice for an outfit. I know a few people do like to do that. A wine rack display is quite cool. Being able to display drinks in this is going to be quite nice. I'm looking forward to making use of that rank 44. It's going to be fun. Um, yeah, I have to do something that kind of takes advantage of that, I think. Maybe do a bar build or something like that and uh, take it to a bit more of a scrappy direction, perhaps. But that could be fun. Flatwoods poster, Flatwoods monster poster specifically, continuing the uh, um, Once in a Blue Moon concept there. Um, nice to have, that's going to be a nice bit of wall decoration. We've had a bunch of these, having a bunch more will be um, a nice range of consistent posters to put up, so definitely cool with that. A Raider 4 poster bed, um, does what it says on the tin, it's not really my cup of tea. There's a couple of 4 poster beds, this one and one we got from the season before last I think. Might have been from an event, I forget off the top of my head. But there's another four poster bed that also has blood all over the bed covers, which is kind of off-putting. And a bit of a pity, really, because it's otherwise quite a nice thing. Um, this is also not exactly the nicest place to sleep, but then perhaps the Raiders don't care too much. Presidential paint for the Tesla rifle at 47 there is quite nice. Bit of a pity that's a Fallout first reward. I think that's um, maybe not an ideal choice for a Fallout first reward, but okay. Yeah, it looks quite nice. It reminds me somewhat of the Silver Shroud paint that we already have for this, though. Um, it's not a massive change on that, it's just the little details, really. But it's still quite nice. The XO one Power Armor paint looking quite nice as well. Not quite as good as the T51 did? T50? Yeah, T51, try to remember the name there. Um, I think that's the best looking one we've seen so far, but this is quite nice. Um, the legs actually look particularly good on this, I have to say. And another Mothman poster over here at 49 Fallout First Members. I don't know if this is a variation on the theme or not. No, it doesn't look to be. It looks just to be um, an extra addition for Fallout First Members, which is nice. I think there might already be a Mothman one in there that looks a bit different, but uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not quite sure. New Coca-Cola Pip-Boy paint. That's quite nice. Um, yeah, I mean, it's got the right colours. I'm not sure about the stars being all that New Coca-Cola, but yeah, I mean, there are stars in the New Coca-Cola branding, I suppose. Um, yeah, if you want a bright red Pip-Boy with Nuka cola logo on the front of it, that, that is quite nice. I do like using the physical version of the Pip-Boy rather than the Pip-Boy light that kind of just brings a holographic version up. Um, partly for the skins and also it's kind of a nice thing, a nice object, so it's kind of cool for that. The Alaskan Winter Paint looks pretty cool on the Scout Armor here at 53. That works like, much like the Combat Armor did, in, with there being a bit more camouflage. I think that works quite nicely, particularly on the mask as well, that's definitely cool. Uh, an on-cave case loot bag. That might be a little on the hard-to-spot side, I fear. Um, but it's a nice style. Chem signs. Don't do chems on the premises. <laughs> uh, or do chems on the premises, depending on which you prefer. Um, I can see that appealing to a few people. I do like little signs and stuff like this. They're kind of fun and uh, add a little bit of texture, detail and interest to uh, camps. So that's, that's nice. Ceremonial mace can be used as a weapon. Um, not sure what that might be a skin for. Possibly a sledgehammer, possibly something else. Um, quite cool though. It's kind of fun. Uh, boom, 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 boom. We've got a moon landing painting here, but it's a Fallout First reward at rank 57 as well. That looks quite nice. Um, yeah, again, adding to that collection, which I quite like the look of. Ultrasonic Power Armor Paint at 58. That's kind of um, channeling something of the T51, which Ultrasonic generally does anyway, but I think it's not quite as nice because there's a little bit too much more going on maybe for this, for this particular paint job. I don't know. Um, again, I feel like this is one I'd have to see actually in game, um, but it does look quite nice. Oh, 
we've got a new survival tent here at rank 61. Mobile relay survival tent. That looks a, a bit odd. Um, I think the lack of in-game lighting is probably not doing this any favours here. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what the details on that are. I'm going to try that one out with a different tone. Um, we'll see what kind of um, crafting stations it's got inside as well. That'd be interesting. That can sometimes make a big difference on whether I would choose to use one or whether or not it's got a particularly useful crafting station or useful to me anyway. Oval Office rug comes in at 62. That's a, yeah, a big brown rug with the seal of the president on it. That's, yeah, I'm sure, extremely familiar to Americans in particular and probably to a heck of a lot of other people as well. But uh, yeah, it looks like it's done quite nicely. It's rather beaten up and grubby, which is what you'd expect 20 plus years after a uh, nuclear war. But <laughs> begs the question where it came from, really, doesn't it? Quite cool, though. The Secret Service Alaskan Winter Paint looks pretty decent again. Um, I think I like the combat armor most out of all of these. The The helmet looks really damn disturbing in a kind of stormtrooper sort of a way. There. <laughs> so that's quite interesting. You could probably lean into that for a character look if you wanted to. That's quite cool. Um, we've got an Enclave Emblem Rug at rank 65 for Fallout first players. I have a feeling this is a variation on a thing because I think there's already an Enclave Emblem Rug available. I think, don't quote me on this, but I think it might be a Daily Ops reward, so I think it's available to everybody. But this is obviously putting a different spin on that. Um, it's a bit more colourful, this one. The one that's already in is um, a lot more... Monochrome is probably not the right word, because this is kind of monochrome as well, but it's single coloured as opposed to this, which has contrast to it. This next thing gives me a lot of mixed feelings, and that is the Mr. Handy's Cake Maker. It's obviously based on the Robobrain chem station that we've got, which is really cool, big, but cool. And it seems to be a cooking station with a Mr. Handy in the middle of it. I really like the idea. It's a really cool thing. My caveat and butt to it is, once again, we're getting another cooking station when what we need is variations on things like the weapons workbenches and the armor bench and that sort of thing. The things that we don't have variations on, as opposed to cooking stations, which we already have a absolute shed load of. So not to say this is not cool. It really is cool. I really like this. Um, I'd like to do something working around that, maybe with the Slocum's Joe fat stack, possibly. We'll see. But um, still, I also want to see other workbenches getting a little bit of love, because um, it's long overdue. So, rank 67, we have a trophy set, that's fun. Um, yeah, more camp decorations, always cool. Pull out uh, trophies out of the vaults. I'm kind of surprised we haven't had these sooner in some ways. And the presidential Hellcat power armor. I'm going to reserve judgment on this. It looks kind of dusty and dirty. Um, this is not a good angle for really showing off the paint job, I don't think. Um, because the question whether or not other angles are worse, really, I suppose. But, again, uh, this really needs to be seen in game to tell whether or not it's as good as some of the others. But it's usually the case that these paints look better on some armors than others. And I fear this may be one of the, the less good ones. That's the way it goes. But still, not a bad look overall. Just not quite as good as some of the others. Uh, we've got a sheep scotch rug down here at rank 70 for those of us on Fallout first as well. Not my thing, those uh, skin rugs, but uh, if you're into that. Rank 71, Oval Office wallpaper. Always happy to have more wallpaper options, make your camp look a bit more interesting. Rank 72, we have the Autumn Miner Collectrons. This is kind of channeling that um, construction, collector, uh, um, construction protectron vibe. But obviously, slightly different different hands on it, and uh, is very 76 in that the auto miners have a whole load of law in and around the the ash heap and the mining companies down there. So that's pretty cool and gives it a different look. Definitely, it's got a, quite the um, quite the law friendly look to it. That I think will make a, a good addition to a camp. Obviously, it this one will now allow you to get ore from um, your collectron, but if you don't want that, you'll be able to use the terminal to get um, whatever resource you happen to want to get. I'm probably going to stick with um, Nuka-Cola for me, but I do quite like the look of this Collectron, I have to say. I wonder whether or not he's got any voice lines. I would expect them to be the same as the regular ones, to be honest, but we'll have to wait and see. Alaskan Winter Recon Armor Paint looks absolutely sick, incidentally, and I may have to uh, get my Recon Armor back on display, stop wearing it out for over the top of it for a while when I pick this up, because that is nice. I like the look of that. Those two work very nicely together. Definitely cool. Rank 73. Along with a red and white H&H um, &H 
scrap box as well for Fallout first players. This is cool. This is the first time we've had a skin for the scrap box as well, which is very much long overdue, and I really like seeing that. That's cool. Changes up the tone instead of just having that Bolt Tech blue, which is fun. That's going to be nice. A wall-mounted phone there, going really old school with the style there, but that's nice. That'll be fun to add into camps. A cupcake flare for the Fallout's fifth birthday there. Obviously, that's rolling around in November. And we have the T-65 presidential armor paint, which that, again, not the best angle, I don't think. I think I want to see that uh, a bit more front on, but that's coming back towards looking pretty cool. The, um, the helmet in particular there looks vicious, channeling that uh, Secret Service kind of scary look. Definitely a bit sci-fi, that. It's quite cool. So, we have uh, Tesla coil power connectors at 81 for Fallout First members, if you want slightly different looking uh, power connectors. They are quite cool, depending on the size of them. I might even take advantage of those. I don't know. They're not too big a deviation from the basic ones. The colour and the look of them, they might stick out a bit too much. I tend to try and make them um, sort of uh, as innocuous looking as possible. So, I'll see how I feel about that. That's nice to have. Hank 82, though, we have an entire build kit. It's been a while since we've had one of these on a scoreboard, so that's really nice to see. And it's not at rank 100 either, which is also cool. So the army-based build kit. So, yeah, it looks a bit beaten up around the roof. We've got some glass roofs here and some flat roofs. My immediate reaction here is the edges look like we might have the same problem we did with one of the other kits that they gave us a while back, which is that they had edges that worked in certain positions but not in others. They didn't have enough variations, so you'd wind up going inside and then all the support beams inside wouldn't line up because there weren't enough variations um, if you had it looking right on the outside. Or you could have them line up on the inside and have the roof on the outside look ridiculous. So hopefully there are more variations than are showing here. But I have a few concerns about that. We'll see. But um, it might end up getting combined with some other roofing options, which would be a pity because these do look quite cool. Uh, yeah, definitely going to make some use out of that once we reach rank 82. Uh, Secret Service Under Armour paint there in uh, the Alaskan Winter colorway. That looks okay. Um, the Secret Service Under Armour is always a bit weird looking to my eye, but that's fine. A White House Porch Lantern over here at rank 84 for, for all our first players. I like that, actually. A really nice little uh, lighting object. That'll be fun to make use of, um, particularly for more clean-looking builds. My current camp, my um, White Springs build kit camp, that would look really good in there, actually, that kind of style, I think. Uh, obviously, that's not going to happen, because it's going to be a while before I hit rank 84. Nice backpack at 85, though. I like this. I could see myself getting a lot of use out of this. It's not too blocky and square, which some of them have been, some of the larger ones. Um, it's also got like, a nice little bit of detail on it. I love the missile through the back of it. That's just completely absurd, but brilliant. Um... Yeah, I like this a lot. Very kind of military vibe with a little bit of that tongue-in-cheek fallout silliness, which is good fun. I like that. Going to make some use out of that, I hope. Uh, 86, we have another one, a medical version of the basic backpack. And I do like this style of backpack, actually, the kind of improvised thing going on there. Doesn't look very comfortable, but it's cool style. Um, don't know if I'm going to use that. As much as it's supposed to be medical, it also gives me slight Raider vibes because it sort of splashes blood on it, I guess. But uh, yeah, still a cool looking thing. More paintings at rank 87. Liberation of Anchorage there. Going back to a, a certain uh, Fallout 3 DLC. I'm getting flashbacks there that I, I very much enjoyed. Operation Anchorage. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, presidential power armor paint for the Union armor here. That's looking quite nice at 88. That, yeah, that's quite nice. I like the way the edges are picked out on this, which uh, they've done on all of them, obviously. But it looks particularly good on this one. Um, nice power armor paints for the Union armor. We've got fewer options for that one, so it's good to see stuff like this getting added. Definitely like that. Um, camo carpet. Okay. Not my thing, but okay. Uh, ooh. Fallout First exclusive military camo... Uh, military cryo freezer stash box, I'm guessing, because this was, um, there was a stash box like this with the Brotherhood vibe a while back. Yeah, that's uh, Fallout First at rank 90. That's quite nice. I like the look of that. Very cool. Uh, another painting for Fallout First players at rank 91. This is Liberty Prime, looking uh, suitably epic. Also channeling the general artwork style of the season as well, which is quite cool. It's uh, the splash art, the key art, and everything for uh, this season that's gone up on Bethesda's website looks like this, and this is a section of it. So 
Very, very cool. I like that. Looking a bit more distressed than that wooden frame there. Looks uh, pretty cool. The Tricentennial Stein. Okay, kicking it back old school. Back to launch almost with this style. Um, very cool. Yeah, the whole Vault 76 being a Tricentennial thing makes uh, a lot of sense. Yeah, but that's definitely got style. <laughs> it's very colourful. Perhaps a little too colourful for my taste. But... Um, that works. Uh, it's a, the shape's quite interesting as well. I like to see some of these um, steins that have different shapes as well. It makes them a bit more interesting to put into camps. Uh, 95, we've got a new fermenter skin. That's cool because we've had brewing station skins, a few of them. Eh, always room for more. We've had a few. We have not had a fermenter skin. And uh, this is actually looking considerably larger than the current one, I think. I think. But uh, I like it. That's definitely cool. We could make more of a feature out of that. There's a few things in this scoreboard that might go well together to make a, an interesting themed kind of um, tavern type camp potentially a rustic kind of beaten up post-apocalyptic tavern might be fun for that uh, an undetonated bomb item here at rank 96 that's fun um these can be a bit iffy with how they meet the ground sometimes we'll have to see how this actually pans out um but it's quite fun if it sinks in a little bit that could be quite cool um i do like that it harks to that uh, random encounter that you can find along the way sometimes, so that's kind of cool. Uh, shooting target's fun. Definitely if you want to do a shooting range camp. We've also we've got the concrete shooting range that was an event-based reward, actually, back end of last year. That was fun, but we didn't have a whole lot of shooting range stuff to go in it. Now we've got a few more bits, so could actually do a shooting range type build, potentially, or include a, at least a range in a larger build, which is a small area. That would be fun. But yeah, that's quite a nice thing to have in. Nice little bit of extra decoration as well. I wonder if it'll be destructible. I'll be interested to find out. Uh, Grey camo carpet and foundations. Again, still not that into that, but it's, it's there at rank 98 for Fallout first players. Oval office long curtains. Oh, nice. Um, I hope these come in a few different styles, actually. I'd imagine they will, but that's quite cool for uh, rank 99. And at 100, see how they do here. Deep spacewalk power armor paint. Okay, that that's interesting. Make it look like... Um, a weirdly sci-fi spacesuit. I don't know what I think of that. Obviously, that's going to be a completely transformative um, paint as opposed to some of them that just keep the same style or the other ones. I don't know. I like the helmet a lot. The shoulders are a little bit more unsure on. <laughs> it, it's a cool idea, though. I, I like that. Obviously, we've got the game board. We've got our icon here. 500 atoms, as usual. And the presidential desk. I see they've skipped over using the actual name of it. That's interesting. Probably because non-Americans wouldn't recognise it, I guess. Or most many non-Americans, perhaps. But uh, yes, very, very cool. That is quite nice. Going to look quite spectacularly out of place when we drop it into a camp, I'm sure. <laughs> In a good way, but uh, I think that's quite fun. So, there we go. Just looking at the key stuff, you can probably tell by how long it's taken to go through all of the fun stuff on this that uh, there really is some pretty interesting rewards on uh, the Season Sporting scoreboard. This is, in my opinion, one of the coolest ones we've had in a while, and there's a lot of stuff I like here. It's got quite the strong camp um, lean on it, but there's a few cool weapon skins. Not a lot, but there's, there's a couple in there. There's some really nice power armor skins and armor skins generally in there, which I'm happy to see, of course. And I've skipped over all of the consumables and currency stuff today, but... Um, obviously those are scattered throughout the board as we would expect as well and uh, yeah on the whole i am quite happy with this scoreboard i think it's really really cool i think it is the particularly strongest part of this update in my opinion so i hope you guys enjoyed that one and uh yeah good to get a little tidbit here and there on the um fallout tv series so that is uh, ticking along nicely and in post-production looking forward to hearing more about that and actually getting trailers and things and stuff once uh, with us that are ready to share the anniversary of Fallout 76 might be a possible time for that. Other than that, you're going to have to keep an eye out for that one. Of course, uh, as soon as we hear anything, my reactions and stuff will be coming. So, for now, thank you very much for watching. Hope this was interesting, informative, and uh, you got some uh, cool little look at some of the stuff in this, as well as getting that little bit of news. If you did like the video, please do drop subs and likes. I very, very much appreciate. Down below, as always, we've got social media links, merch store, and channel memberships on the blue join button as well as in the description if you would like to check that out i really really appreciate the support it massively helps out and if you get a chance to join us for live streams as well we are of course playing 76 we're wrapping up a little bit of wolfenstein at the moment and of course starfield is going to be very very huge and very very soon and i'm very excited for that as well so i'd love to catch you there for those but for now thank you very much for watching and i look forward to speaking to you all very very soon